Alrighty, old people, so it's the next day. <laughs> I'm gonna work on that path, right? Because it's gotta get done. And we're gonna plant some, just throw in some seeds in that little uh, cold frame now that it's done. This is just some cheap, cheap seeds from wherever. Some of them aren't so cheap. Some of them are a little more expensive, a little more exotic. I don't know what's gonna grow, what's not gonna grow. So we're just gonna pop in a variety, kind of make it thick, right? And then weed them as they're growing. Uh, this is something I found at Home Depot where people were leaving their junk behind. And we used to be able to get pallets. It's been working out pretty good for me. But as you can see, it's gumping up in there, right? So I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna put a bit of that in there and hopefully that will dissolve it. And I'm just using it for basic trim and nothing fancy, right? And then, uh, that. what else am I gonna do? That. That oh, hold on a minute. I'm gonna wash this thing first. I'm gonna bleach it down and let it dry out. And then that's cat bed. It's been sitting outside for like two years. <laughs> this one's been sitting there ever since I moved in. It's got grass growing on the bottom. Can you see it? <laughs> but this one here, I want to make a cat house yet, so we'll see. So this is the before, the before the wash. You can see, I was supposed to do this in the beginning of summer and let it bake in the sun after the fact, but I got busy with other things. So we'll be back. Okay, members and friends, as I'm clearing out this shed to let it air out right and sweep it, here's the bottle of um, walnut stain. Right? And if you notice, there's absolutely no mold in it. So, if I take you to that pot over there, <laughs> still sitting there, you're gonna see a little white film spider webbing out from it, from the mold that's growing. But when you take away the air flow, it doesn't really seem to do anything. I don't even think the ones upstairs have done anything. Now, the only thing I might be concerned about because it is a plant product and based on home canning principles and how botulism can live in an enclosed environment, right? And that's why they recommend you, uh, what do you call it? Boiling your food for 10 minutes at least before eating it after you open a canned good that you do from home. So if I really wanted to, I could reboil this outside in the pot, same pot, right? To kill off any bacteria before I used it. But walnut itself is um, a natural antiseptic of sorts. It kills things, <laughs> right? So maybe it kills botulism too. Maybe it just wouldn't breed. When you take away the oxygen, it just does nothing breeds in it. So I don't know, I'm not a chemist. But I just wanted to point that out, that I don't see no mold in here. And I didn't see any upstairs in those jars when I looked last time. Only the ones that have where the air can get in, do they seem to mold. Okay, just walking you through my day, people. So, uh, back in the day, when I put this box in, eh, there's actually drainage rocks in here. Underneath, along the baseline of this um, box dug a trench, laid a pipe, covered it, and then, you know, used the one inch to two inch uh, crushed rock, drainage rocks, put that in there, and then covered it with dirt. So this, if you notice what I'm, I'm the reason I'm telling you that is, this little pile of rocks here comes in pretty handy when I'm doing stuff like this. Because what happens is it all drains and then it goes drains in there and then it just drains out into the drain, right? Over there. And then of course any runoff that you get coming goes in here. And because there's extra drainage in here, it helps to flush it out. But I just wanted to point that out. And as you can see, this is coming along quite nice. Alrighty, old members and friends. My little grandson wants to say something. Who's that? Charlie. That's Charlie. That's Charlie the bear, isn't he? He's the polar bear. 
What did Nana just do with him last week? I be, I be, I be Charlie go and, and get honey. And Charlie Barrett's gonna go get honey? Yeah. Yeah, he's getting ready for the honey, is he? Yeah. Uh-huh. So he was, uh, he's been outside for, oh, I don't know, a year, year and a half. He used to be up on my porch. And then he came about down here and he was hanging out here for a while. And then he kind of got a little dirty, so I sprayed him down. And now I'm just giving him a quick brush, continue to air him out. And his neck is, he's getting a little old, so maybe we'll have to make Charlie a collar. Yeah, we'll make Charlie a collar. Yes. Charlie the polar bear. He says, I'm the bear. I'm the bear. See eh? me? Uh-huh. I'm trying to make my cake. Oh, okay. We'll be back. Hold I'll on, see wait. You, I'll tell you now this. you can say it. This is a bird. Yeah, it's a little bird, people. It's a little bird, people. I got this cat that... A cat. Seems Mickey. Mickey. Yeah, Mickey. she's... Unfortunately, she's... She's getting a bell. I don't care. She's already killed two of them. And I just got this one away from her. I don't know how she gets them. But she's so fast. This little thing. Normally when they're like this, people, they don't last. But I'm going to give it some straw. And, uh... Poor little thing is so... It's, this, it dies of shock, right? Unfortunately. But we're going to go get it some straw, and we're just going to cover the cage for a bit and just let it rest. All its tail feathers are out of there. So, obviously, its leg is injured. But hold on. I'm going to get some straw. Okay. Hello, my friend. I... I just... I just a bird. And what's he doing? I tell you, I tell you, he's, I tell you, he's going, I tell you, he's going to fly. Yeah, you think so? Yes. Maybe if he gets better? Yes. Yeah, but he's pretty hurt right now, so. Where? Well, on his legs. His legs are pretty messed up. So I'll we're just going to let him rest for I'll a while. I tell you, I tell you, this, I tell you, I, I tell you, I think, I tell you, I need to make my cake. Is I I talk I talk I tell you I didn't make I got it and make it. Okay, all right. So we'll be back. Go. Okay, so this is what we planted. In here, one's lettuce in that corner, and there's a little herb there. Right. So we'll see. We'll see what grows. I'm still working on the path here, taking a little time, but I've kind of moved on to the greenhouse here. I have the team that. Uh, Helping me out. Hold on. Okay, so as you can see, it came out quite clean. All right? Just gonna put it in the shed there so it can dry, even the toy. <laughs> All right? Bring it out tomorrow if it's not raining. All right? So I'm just gonna spray down a little bit of this dust. Okay, members and friends. So as you can see, I've been outside all day again. Mm -hmm. That's the way it works around here. Oftentimes. But we're making headway. A little bit, but a little bit by a little bit. Right? Got some seeds in there. Anyway. Okay, members and friends, now it's 7.30 at night. I was just saying to my dad here, I said, you do realize how many days I've been out here in the back. I met this guy, right? Because I needed this canopy, right? So I was dragging it by myself. And I said to him, I said, he was walking while he was driving a little bike or something. I said, excuse me, I said, would you like to make $5 and just... Help me, you know, bring this thing home, right? It was like a half a block, right? Half a block. Less than half a block. About a half a block. <coughs> so he got five bucks. I was talking to him about... You know, it's just some local guy, right? You know, there's a lot of them, these local guys, right? And, you know, I told him, I asked him if he knew how to do gutters or whatever, right? Because my landlady came and got the rent and... I just said, you know, like, I, I need, we need to get these gutters fixed, right? Bathroom, whatever, right? And she said, oh, yeah, you know, my husband, she says, you know, 
has bad heart, and is old, and blah, 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 and I'm like, well, and she's, what are we supposed to do, and I'm like, well, I guess just take it one day at a time, that's what I'm doing, just one day at a time, so I'm taking it one day at a time, people, and I'm just walking you through it, I'm walking you through it my one day at a time, if you can see my eyes are all buggy. Because I wear these dollar store glasses. Because my other glasses broke. I went to go see the eye doctor. They said I didn't need another pair. But it was more like I didn't qualify for another year. I needed a different. I needed different ones. Because the ones I had were not strong enough anymore. Anyway, I brought them home. And within four days they broke. So don't ask me how that happened. And I've just been running around with these dollar store glasses. I was ripping out glass today. And hammering um, bricks the cement to break off the cement so you know, I'm salvaging as many bricks as I can gather up right I have that little birdie on my table right now so I've got some straw from outside and what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it up into smaller little pieces and uh, I don't know I'm going to have to put it someplace where the cats can't get it because poor thing I don't know, somebody, some cat jumped up on the table that I had it outside on and pulled the whole freaking thing down. And when I came around, there was the poor little cage, poor little bird in the cage on the ground. So it's been traumatized today. Not only did a cat get it, but it fell off the table already. And it's, but it's still there. So oftentimes, though, these things die at night. So we'll see. It depends. It depends on how injured it was with, with the cat, right? It seems like it's back legs or something wrong with them, so... I don't know. We'll see what happens with that little bird. I'm going to find myself a bell for Mickey because she's she's very good at catching birds. So anyway, um, I don't know. If it's nice tomorrow, I'm going back out. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to just work in the back as much as I can. I'm doing multiple things, you know. Did a little bit of weeding up by the greenhouse. I'm actually excited to get into the greenhouse and try and just, you know, plastic it up at least for a while, right? So I've talked to my son about that, you know, and see, see if I can use it a little bit over the winter, you know? Kind of makes it all worthwhile, just kind of like that little cold frame, you know? Put some seeds in there, a whole bunch, so something should catch. It's, technically, it should have went in late at the, in August, right? should have planted them in August. What are we planting them in? October 1st, October 2nd? <laughs> They're kind of going in late, so they're either going to catch or they're not. So that's going to be a little science experiment and see what happens with that. So anyway, I'm going to upload this, and then I guess we'll be back out there tomorrow. That's what's going to happen, right? Because until I feel satisfied with that walkway and a few other little things in the back, I can't go down onto my porch and then work my way down and get in. You know, I can't. I just have to... I have to get a little bit of a handle on that mud in the back because it just comes up anyway. So before I clear out the porch, I want to make sure that this mud isn't coming up. So the walkway is, is I did put some, some bricks down today, but you know, one day at a time. All right. Where's that poor little bird? <laughs>